There are so many things to look for when you start shopping for a house. So I have a checklist for you of things to look for, and that's what we're talking about today. Stick around, you don't wanna miss out. Hi there, I'm Heather Evers with Norman Homes and Lifestyle, brokered by Century 21. Today, I'm gonna go over a checklist with you of things to look for when you start shopping for a house. One of the first things you obviously have to consider when you start to shop for a house is your budget. You have got to get a pre-approval from a lender so that you know how much you can spend and ideally figure out a price point that is not going to max you out. Definitely consider location as one of your very top priorities for shopping for a house. You want it to be within a certain distance of your work, your kid's school, your favorite places to go. Um, check out all the neighborhoods and see if there's one that you like over another that has maybe a, a different style. Um, you know, are you gonna want a real traditional neighborhood? Do you care if it's gated? Those are things you need to really keep an eye out for. Definitely consider the home's size when you start to shop. So square footage is one thing. You might want a certain number in that square footage, but you know, it really depends on how the house is laid out. So for me, I would definitely be more prone to checking out the number of bedrooms and bathrooms and any additional spaces. Like, is there a study? Is there a bonus room for the kids or for a media room, a theater? Um, be sure that you check out the flow, but also think about you know your numbers. Do you have to have a certain number of rooms? You really wanna also consider the architectural style of the house that you're looking for. Do you want something that's pretty modern um, are you real into very clean lines when it comes to the exterior of the home? Or do you like something kind of cottagey? And um, there are all different kinds of architectural styles and you definitely wanna look for something that is going to fit your personality. So you obviously won't be able to see everything about the condition of the home from the exterior. And that's why it's very important to get inspections on any house that you choose. But there are some things you can check for. You can look to see if you see a lot of cracking in the exterior walls, the interior walls. Do you see them in the, um, the driveway, in the garage, in that concrete pad? Um, keep an eye out for that. You can see a little bit of the roof's condition. Does it look like there's a lot of granular loss? Um, do you see any shingles that are popped up or nails that are visible? Those are some things that you can, you know, see from, from the ground level if it's, if it's not in good condition. And that brings up an important point, um, the age of the home. So if you're getting into an older home, you need to just have a budget set aside for things that are gonna come up with that home. The HVAC might need serviced, you might need to have the electric looked at, um, you might have any number of things come up on a regular basis in a home that has not been built in more recent history and or completely updated. Um, that does not mean that you will not have those kinds of issues pop up in something newer. You still need to have a budget for home maintenance things that arise. But if you're getting into a house, you know, built in the 40s or something, you just need to know ahead of time that you are taking on a project. You should definitely consider the lighting in the house and maybe even visit during different times of day. Um, you don't want to get in somewhere that then you realize there's really not enough window light in this home and you just feel like you're in a cave all the time. Um, give that some consideration and really pay attention during your showing. Storage is one of my number one home criteria points. You want to really count cabinets, count drawers, look around and think about your current um, storage habits and where you like to keep things and really play that through in your head as you're walking through a home and say to yourself, oh, okay, I could put my big stock pots on this shelf in this kitchen um, or here's a good space for all our linens. You know, you really want to give that some thought. Parking is a big one. Do you have teenagers that are driving and you need three or four parking spaces for all the cars? Or is it just yourself? Or is it just you and your, your spouse that um, you really don't need a lot of extra parking and maybe a one or two car, you know, driveway and garage would be okay. You might, 
even call on utilities. You can typically call your local electric company, water company, and give them an address and ask them for an average of the bill on that home for the last year. It's something to consider when you're shopping. So whether or not the home has an HOA is another important factor. So not only does that come with some rules and restrictions about what you can do on your home and on the outside of your home where you can park vehicles, things like that, um, but there are sometimes fees. You know, there are annual fees that you pay in to a homeowners association um, that might take care of like a pool or some kind of a meeting house. Um, maybe they take care of even some of the yard work. So find out exactly um, what the terms are if there's a, an HOA and whether or not you're okay with those. So you definitely want to research the property taxes on the homes that you're looking at. They can vary a great deal. Um, so just keep an eye on that and keep in mind that that will be an additional cost. Um, it is frequently escrowed in to your mortgage. Um, so talk to your lender about that and how that works. But do know that that's something that you're going to have annually to take care of. So I've already mentioned your home inspection and I know I talk about that a lot in my other videos. It's just so important that you plan for an inspection on any home that you're looking at. So as you're shopping, think to yourself, what are my concerns with this home specifically? What inspections would I need? And if you have no idea, then that's what your realtor's for. Ask us, we're gonna know what to do. So you're also gonna wanna think ahead to the appraisal of the home. If you're looking at a home that you think you're going to have to really overbid to win the contract, to win the bid, then you need to consider the fact that the home may or may not actually appraise for that amount. This is something you need to discuss with your realtor and with your lender and really understand how that plays out. So while you're talking to your lender, you also wanna discuss your different financing options and the different types of loans that are available. Different loans are gonna have different terms and they're gonna have different benefits and pluses and minuses for you. So talk to that lender, find out exactly what kind you're gonna to want to apply to the home you're looking at. So we've talked about closing costs in previous videos, and that is another thing you wanna think about as you're shopping homes. Talk to your realtor and find out, do you think this is a home that we can ask the seller to pay some of our closing costs? Or do you think that everybody that bids on this house is probably going to take care of their own closing costs and we need to have savings and be prepared for that to win a bid on this house? Another thing that people sometimes forget is to shop home insurance on the houses that you're looking for. Get quotes and make sure that you're including that along with those taxes we talked about and have that figured in your monthly cost and make sure that you're comfortable with that amount. Okay, well that is my checklist of things. Not a full one, but it's some of the things that I think you should look for and check off on a list as you shop for homes. Don't forget to like this video, hit subscribe, and then hit the notification bell so that you find out when I post a new video. While you're at it, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. I've got some good ones that cover more in depth some of the things that we talked about today. So I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you.